You have the final say in your destiny, Pisces. That's what I have to say to you. I guess that's the point of this read. That's the point of this whole message. You have all the power. And you have the final say where you wish to take your destiny. What path you wish to choose. You're no longer bound by any soul contract. Any soul pattern. Any ancestral contract. It's been released. Is what I'm getting here. You now have the choice to choose which path you wish to take. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles, Spirit saying yes. And with that Ace of Pentacles, you're going to be blessed. Regardless of what path you choose, Pisces, you are going to be blessed. Okay, Pisces, some of you are either going to be in a relationship or you're going to have physical intimacy. It's one or the other because this is the second time we're seeing the lovers. We're seeing the lovers twice, so this is definitely a time period where love is very heavy in your energy. I was literally saying, they just want physical intimacy and look what you get, the two of cups here, but these individuals are naked, and his face is sort of in her breasts, kind of, his chin is in there, right? If you see the artwork, it's like they're just wanting to, they just want to have a good time. They're, they're not ready for, I guess that's the whole point of this read, Pisces. They're not ready for commitment. Whoever you're dealing with or you're about to be dealing with, if this is someone new coming in the month of May, just know they're not ready for commitment. Don't believe anything they tell you. They just want you, Pisces. Looks like somebody here is ready to take a leap of faith towards you. Okay. Hello, my beautiful Pisces. How are you? Welcome back to the channel. Starseed Zad here. If you're new, make sure to subscribe and join the Soul Tribe. We have a read for you guys, okay? This is your read for May 2022. This is a general predictions read, so take what resonates, leave what doesn't behind. Cross watchers, you are welcome. This message is also timeless. Personal reads are in the link tree link in the description box below. And with all that out of the way, we're going to get started. Thank you so much, angels, ancestors, spirit guides, universe, galactic beings, ancient ancestors, elders, guide us in this read for Pisces. What messages do you have for us? Truly grateful for your divine guidance and celestial light. Hmm, let's see here. We have Neptune, we have number five, and then we have Sagittarius. So, Neptune is interesting. This is your ruling planet, Pisces. Then we have number five. This is uh, Tauros energy, the Hierophant card. It is also Venus energy. Then we have Sagittarius, which Temperance, that is a card representing Sagittarius, but it is also Jupiter. You received some sort of download, okay? This past weekend i want to say no not this past weekend it was another weekend the weekend before that where there was a conjunction venus and jupiter so you did receive some sort of download and you're going to start uh activating okay you may foresee things before they happen you may start having these strange visions strange dreams because you do have neptune there which is the planet all about dreams so definitely pay attention to your, to your dreams this time around Let's see here what the tarot has for you. One message is spirit for my Pisces. Mm. Should I count that as reverse? The way it flopped over? Yeah, I should because that's how it landed. So the Page of Swords and the Sun in reverse. What? Mm. I'm deaf at the bottom. You could be dealing with a Leo. A Scorpio, a Sagittarius, a Tauros, or a Pisces like yourself. The lovers. Okay. Someone here is watching you. But who is this someone spirit? <laughs> the Hierophant. There's the Hierophant card. Whoever's watching you is very stubborn. You have a very stubborn energy that's obsessed with you. Yeah. Yep, two of wands. 
either they're watching you through social media or they have actually followed you home or followed you to your work. Yes, Queen of Cups and the Fool. It looks like somebody here is ready to take a leap of faith towards you. It's going to be a very specific message, okay? But I see here, somebody may take a leap of faith. Now, we do see Tauros, Gemini, and then the Sun, which is Leo. So it's an energy of like, these next few months could be pivotal. Pivotable. Pivotable. I can't say it. Pivotal. Pivotal. These next few months will be uh, life-changing in regards to your love life, okay? Scratch the rest of it because I don't know how to say that word. You have Gemini season, you have Toro season. So naturally, this month and the next month, it seems to me like somebody here is taking a leap of faith towards you with that full card there. However, you have this Page of Swords, right? This is this person taking this leap of faith. The sun in reverse, it tells me this person hasn't healed. So it's an energy of like, okay, Pisces, here they come, but they're not healed. They haven't really done the work. Do you want to pursue this with them? Do you want to do something with this person? Do you want to give it a try? Do you just want to keep it out of, as a friendship? Do you want to just completely ignore them? Like, spirit is basically saying you're in control of this now. You have all the say in this connection with this person. Because I feel like this person left you hanging. They didn't really explain themselves. Let's see here. Tarot of Dreams. Wow, the lovers, yeah. It's looking like you guys are going to be in a relationship. That... Okay, Pisces, some of you are either going to be in a relationship or you're going to have physical intimacy. It's one or the other because this is the second time we're seeing the lovers. We're seeing the lovers twice. So this is definitely a time period where love is very heavy in your energy. But you see the Seven of Swords is there at the bottom. Can you trust this person? This could even be a new person that you're meeting, right? But that was the energy I was getting. Like, can you trust this person? Three of Pentacles, yeah. Can you trust them? It seems to me like they have a lot of third-party interference here. Like, they want to work and build with you, but then it's, it's like there's third-party interference. For some of you, this person's family could be trying to sabotage this connection. Yeah, you have another page of swords here. Good Lord in heaven, help us. What is this energy? What is going on in your read? Like, what, what is going on in this read? And what is the point of this read? We always want to see what, you know, what the point of the read is. What is the message? You know, why... Why is this being told to us? Why is this being shown to us, right? Because if there's no point, then it's pointless. And I'm trying to sit here and figure out what exactly is it that spirit is trying to convey to us in this read. It seems to me like they're trying to convey a warning. Because some of you may want to give this this person a shot whether this person is from the past or whether they're new it doesn't seem to matter it seems to me like they're on that snake energy it really just feels and i don't like talking about this all the time but it's it's so predominant in these romance these love reads whenever love energy comes up it's like the sexual aspect is so strong. You have a lot of people here that want to be intimate with you. But there's one specific person. Either your past person or it's a new person. For some of you, it could even be both. But it's like an energy. I, I don't get them wanting anything serious. Like they just want to have fun. Jump. 
judgment. Hmm. Oh, someone's being judged here. Nine of Wands at the bottom. Five judgment. Ten of Swords. Somebody's being betrayed. Someone here is being betrayed. Do you see this, Pisces? Look at those ten swords stabbing him in the back. I hope that this isn't you that's being betrayed. I don't think so because judgment is there. Yeah, no, it's not you being betrayed. It's this past person and i also feel like anybody that did you wrong pisces this it's like this month they're going to reap their reward they did you poorly so now spirit is going to give them the karma of their life because you're your god's chosen spirit loves you spirit doesn't want anybody to do any harm towards you same with your ancestors they're ruthless anybody messes with you it's like you don't have to do anything and you hear later down the line so and so is going through a very hard time obviously we don't wish ill will on anyone right because we're high vibrational and we're not going to hold grudges we forgive and we forget move move forward sometimes we forgive and you know we don't forget but we still forgive right we don't wish any any ill harm but some of our ancestors and, you know, spirit, if they feel like this person or, you know, someone has crossed the line with you, they are going to cast judgment. And that's what I see here. Karma is hitting this person and anybody that did you dirty, really, this month. It's hitting them bad. Five of Cups yeah the ace of cups yeah you you got out of a page of swords you got out of a very crappy love situation but you see this is what i was saying this page of swords okay this person stalks you and washes you obsessively whether it's online or in person or both they're receiving some sort of karma, okay? This ex of yours, the, the, this past person, the, they're receiving karma. So why why does this matter to Pisces, though? They want to come in and have a friend with benefits type situation here. Why does this, what does this matter? You know, like, what's the point? What does this have to do with Pisces? Three of Pentacles. They want to rebuild with you. Yeah. They want to rebuild with you. I'm sorry that this is your message, but yeah, this past person wants to rebuild. Or this could have been somebody that you just met recently, right? So there, it's like a new energy, but you ended up walking away. You ended up removing yourself because it just you just felt like it wasn't going anywhere but this individual is not ready to let you go regardless if it's a past or a new person they're not ready to let you go they want to build <clears throat> yeah the knight of cups they want to come in and make this romantic offer but it really feels like they just want physical intimacy yep i was literally saying they just want physical intimacy and look what you get the two of cups here but these individuals are naked and his face is sort of in her breasts kind of his chin is in there right if you see the artwork it's like they're just wanting to they just want to have a good time they're, they're not ready for i guess that's the whole point of this read pisces they're not ready for commitment Whoever you're dealing with or you're about to be dealing with 
If this is someone new coming in the month of May, just know they're not ready for commitment. Don't believe anything they tell you. They just want you, Pisces. Oh, what is this? Yeah, Nine of Swords. Nine of Swords wish in the original tarot artwork is somebody in the bed. This is what I've been saying all along, like the bed. What, about, what else do we have, Spirit? Okay, I do need to look at the booklet for this because Dreams of Gaia Tarot is not like the regular tarot decks. So what do we have here? Card number 11. Healing. It's like Spirit wants you to focus on your healing this month and just taking things slow. Yeah. You have a beautiful angel there. And this card is called... I believe that's the last card. In the Major Arcanas, yeah. This card is called Faith. So you have healing and faith. It's like Spirit just wants you to focus on your healing. Have faith, okay? Trust in the process. It seems to me like it's an energy of wondering when things are going to pick up for you when it comes to love. And Spirit doesn't want you to stress out about that. They just want you to keep the faith, focus on your inner healing, okay? Focus on the inner work and you will meet the right person at the right time. You don't have to do any of this with this past person with this new person you don't have to do any of that pisces yeah look at this four of wands some of you could have been dealing with a twin flame situation or a divine soulmate or you could even be dealing with both some of you but it's like all i see here is that when it comes to love this person or these individuals, they just want physical intimacy. They don't want commitment. Like, that's all I'm seeing here. It's like, don't get your hopes up on something that isn't real, right? The Five of Cups and then the Ace of Cups, which is true love. You know, the Five of Cups here, don't... Don't, um... Don't set this expectation from these individuals. Because these individuals are not in that energy to offer you commitment. Oh yeah, this is the front cover of the deck. Very interesting card, hold on, I just wanna... See the booklet here. I have to learn these, it's cause I barely use this deck. Yeah, you see, this is Destiny. And this is the front cover of the Dreams of Gaia Tarot. It's called Destiny. You have the final say in your destiny, Pisces. That's what I have to say to you. I guess that's the point of this read. That's the point of this whole message. You have all the power and you have the final say where you wish to take your destiny, what path you wish to choose. You're no longer bound by any soul contract, any soul pattern, any ancestral contract. It's been released is what I'm getting here. You now have the choice to choose which path you wish to take. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles, Bear saying yes. And with that Ace of Pentacles, you're going to be blessed. Regardless of what path you choose, Pisces, you are going to be blessed. It's your destiny to be blessed. Yeah, Ten of Swords. It's like, don't... You know, it's an energy of like, see it clearly for what it is. You see how she took off that mask? You know, don't be afraid to take off the mask. She still has a blindfold, so it's like starting to see the reality of the situation and focusing on healing, right? Because it kind of looks like a bandage, but you see these dragonflies, dragonflies live very very short lives okay somebody could have a dragonfly tattoo um or somebody could have an angel wing tattoo or an angel wing necklace but yeah it's like
dragonflies live or a feather bird feather necklace tattoo anyhow dragonflies live very short lives i'm not trying to rhyme by the way uh they live very short lives and they don't waste any time that's why they're always so sporadic just flying from place to place they don't waste time and so this is an energy of like don't waste your time with people that are just going to play games with you because this is the ten of swords it could end very very badly you know it could end with betrayal so that's what i see here you have you know this person past or current or new and i feel like there's multiple people honestly if i'm being honest i feel like there's a ton of different options but none of them want commitment Spirit just wants you to focus on yourself, focus on your love, self-love, your healing, keep the faith, and just know that you have the power of choice. You can choose your destiny. You're no longer bound by any contract, so that is your read. That is what I have for you. I hope you enjoyed this. I wish you the best of luck.